Okay, this is the setup. I've got a couple of red diodes here. Um, got a um, BD139 connected to a piece of aluminum as a heat sink. 47k resistor. I'm putting 12 volts into this setup, uh, but I think it can run down the voltage lower. Um, the exciter part, the primary core, the L2 is four turns of bell wire and the secondary coil is just a um, like a I think it was like a vitamin D capsule bottle and it's got 40 gauge wire around it and that was that was wound with an electric screwdriver I just drilled a hole on the cap put a screw in that and then connected the screw into the electric screwdriver and wound the um, 40 gauge wire. I would say there's about almost two inches, that's about two inches total height on that. And then this is just the middle of a, a roll of stickers, four turns there. And then I just pretty much dropped this right in the middle. I've got, I've left the end of the wire, you can just barely see it there. There it should be in focus, just poking out the top there. That 40 gauge wire is hair thin. This has been lacquered to protect it. It's so easy to just break and it snapped a couple of times. I had to restart winding it, so I have to be real careful when you're winding it because it breaks so easily. And uh, I think it's got, this has actually got two uh, coats of polyurethane on it. So you can see I've just uh, positioned that right in the middle of that uh, cardboard ring and I've, my windings are right at the top I found that to give the best output in terms of plasma. So we'll uh, test it out by connecting up to a 12 volt battery. Okay I'm about to uh, connect up the, um, connect this up to 12 volt power supply. I have a uh, SLA sealed lead acid battery here. I'm going to poke this into the uh, breadboard and we get our plasma output. Okay. Get this to stay, it's hard. The diodes are on, which is a good indicator that it's working. And light these up. It's fluorescent tube up. Neon bars light pretty well. Okay, I've got some AV plugs here. Let's try these out. Here's an AV plug. Getting some output on there. Here's another one. Let's try this one. And here's one that's connected to a capacitor, and this capacitor will actually uh, will actually charge up. So try this one. There it goes. It's pretty bright. And that electrolytic, I mean that um, regular capacitor, can charge up pretty well with this.
with my plasma. Plasma output is not very high because of the um, primary tilted in the secondary coil. I'm going to straighten it up and see if that improves the output. Yeah, I'm getting the plasma, lighting up some neon neon bulbs, an AV plug, and a compact fluorescent tube. So it's got quite a bit of output, and doesn't really diminish the size of the uh, little little um, corona on top of the wire. Now I'm lighting two compact fluorescent tubes. I'm right lighting some neon bulbs, AV plug. And I'm still getting corona from this um, small little uh, coil that's only not even two inches tall. So it's pretty, uh, pretty amazing output with this 40 gauge wire. I'm going to just test the transformer, I mean the transistor, to see if it's getting any hot or not. It's just not even barely warm. So that's pretty impressive. Let's reconnect that and see what that does again. There it goes. Quite a bit of brightness on there. Plus my little uh, Corona discharge right there, as you can see it.